I say just communication. Um, just everyone been on the same page out there. We had some, you know, some communication breakdowns here and there, and just everybody just executing their assignment, and, uh, just playing it in the scheme of the defense. Well, pretty much that's what he said. Just communicating. You know, um, everybody doing their job. I know we we haven't been successful on third downs the past two weeks, and that's what we build ourselves on throughout the whole season. Getting off the field on third down. So it's just a couple bus here, a couple bus there, but we had this off week to get everything back right, how we're going, like it was in the beginning of the season. So we're going we're gonna to come this week and have a great third down mentality to getting off the field. Do you think the number of plays you guys have played, you two particularly, that was kind of reflective of what had happened and, and why y'all weren't as successful on defense maybe late in games, just all of them accumulating? I, I really, I, you can't say um, that was the cause of it because we, we, we athletes, we play football, and it doesn't matter if you get 10, ten snaps or to 80 snaps, you still got to execute your assignment at the end of the day. I would say For home games, it's harder on the defense to communicate. You guys mentioned you need to communicate a little better. How much more difficult is it to communicate with the crowd noise at home? Is we love the crowd noise at home. It, it, I wouldn't say it's difficult communicating. It's just we just got to have a strong communication and playing together as a unit. But the crowd noise, it it, it, it doesn't affect us. We we just got to go out there and do our, do our job. Jalen, is it different with the fact that there's going to be some no huddle stuff? You guys last couple of ball games look like you guys were trying to make some last second adjustments pre snap and that kind of thing. Just does this make it more simple because they, you know, they like um, fast? I mean, it's just a different style of team. We've seen plenty of no huddle though throughout the season. Saw a lot of it earlier in the season. And uh, all week we see it from our team. So, I mean, it's just a little bit different challenge, but it's nothing that we can't handle. We'll be able to take care of it. Hey, what do you feel like you guys need to do as an offense to kind of keep up the kind of momentum <clears throat> you've created in the last two games? Uh, tempo. Um, Going and painting a picture for Dobbs, uh, being consistent, just doing the little things right, executing. Hey, Jay, y'all came so y'all come so close to bowl eligibility this last couple of years and it's falling short. Just the motivation for you going in your in your senior year last month to kind of get over the hump and bowl eligibility. Just how big a deal is that for you? Just just keep working hard, pretty much. Just keep going hard each day, each week and get get this win number five so we can get to win number six. So like get into the bowl game my last my last thought because I know we're gonna get there. We're gonna we're gonna do what it take and we're gonna get we're gonna make whatever happen to get to a bowl game this year. So it's gonna be a great feeling when we get there. Um, I feel like some of the DBs, like Rashawn Gardner, uh, guys like him, uh, played good throughout that bye week. You know, bye week is basically a time for all the younger guys to develop and get ready to play. So, like Rashawn and Jalen Miller, I feel like had had a good bye week. Malik Foreman, he been making, been stepping up, making plays in practice. So that's that's one spot we I noticed he been making a lot of plays in practice, stepping up. I think the offense has been so much more explosive in the last two games. Is it just a product of a change in quarterback, or is there something else at play too? <clears throat> uh, I can say that you know with a running quarterback, it, it opened up the pass game, so that got a lot to do with it. Um, defense can't blitz as much at the same time. Um, you know, Ben Dobbs and running the quarterback, he keep the player alive. He can get out the pocket. He can use his leg to get first down. So, I mean, all around it help us. Anybody else? Have you all looked at much Kentucky tape yet? Um, yeah, we've been watching. Where, what do you see from their offense, um, particularly tolls and, and just maybe overall team speed? 
Yeah, I mean, they got some good skill players. Um, the quarterback does a lot for them. You know, he, he can move. He's a big guy. He can get out of the pocket. They got some quarterback runs that you do, and they got good speed on the edge. Did you guys watch their game on Saturday? Um, I watched like, I watched it. Yeah, well, yeah, we I watched it. But um, like you were saying, they got their, their offense. They got some. They got some skilled players, and they got a good quarterback. You know how to manage the game, and they fight for a ball game mm -hmm. just as us. So, like I was saying, we got to be good on third down. We know their percentage of going going for it on fourth down is real high. So we got to be good on fourth down this week, expecting them to go for it on the fourth down as well, and just keeping the quarterback contained and fitting up our runs. Hey, did you watch the Kentucky <clears throat> Not at all. Um, they got two stands up, stand up defensive end that impact the game as well. Uh, I think with they up front, it helped the secondary in general. They got confidence. They play one, play cover three. Ball around, I think Kentucky defense and same defense over the past few years. So. Like having practice yesterday. It, it, was, it was pretty pretty cool. He came to, spoke to us before we went out of practice. Um, um, it, it was it was exciting to be able to just uh, be able to meet him in person and stuff. You know, you know, he had him grilled in his mouth, be shining. It was really shining like that in person. So <laughs> 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 that was that was nice to see. <laughs> what did he say to you guys? Uh, pretty much, he just wanted to come by and just say he want to show us some love. He say he showed us some love in, in, in the flesh. I know he had, he did a video for us in the Neyland Stadium and. Then, and he was in town, so he wanted to come by and holler at us and tell us to keep fighting pretty much and get to a bowl game. That's one thing he said. We close close to making stuff happen, so we might as well finish it off. And he said our coach, our coach is a cool, cool cat. Like he, he like a coach. He liked Coach Jones a lot. Both of you guys on defense, Coach talked about Derek Barnett and Blake Brock. What's it like having the pressure like that contribute in front of you guys sort of help the defense overall? I think it helped a lot on I, t I talk to Derry every day, and I tell him, like, he's one of my favorite um, players to watch on our team because of the way he played. You know, he, he's a freshman, but he never, like, he never once was scared out there. Uh, he came in just playing his game, and, you know, he, he's impacting the game, helping everybody else on defense. I call him Sack Master. <laughs>